What is confining pressure? Confining pressure, in the field of geology and rock mechanics, is a fundamental concept that plays a critical role in understanding the behavior of rocks and minerals, particularly when subjected to high pressures deep within the Earth's crust. Definition Confining pressure, also known as lithostatic pressure, is the uniform pressure that acts on a rock or mineral from all directions due to the weight of the overlying rock layers and sediments. It is essentially the result of the tremendous load exerted by the Earth's own gravitational force on the materials beneath the Earth's surface. This pressure acts equally in all directions, compressing and compacting the rock or mineral. Key Points Role in Rock Deformation Confining pressure is a critical component of the stress regime within the Earth's crust. When combined with tectonic stresses, such as compression or shear forces, it influences how rocks deform and respond to the stress. Formation of sedimentary rocks Confining pressure is a key factor in the formation of sedimentary rocks. As sediments accumulate over time, the weight of the overlying layers applies increasing confining pressure on the sediments below, eventually compacting them into solid rock. Effects on mineral transformations High confining pressure can affect the phase transitions of minerals. For example, certain minerals can transform into denser forms under high pressure conditions, a phenomenon known as polymorphism. Influence on rock strength Confining pressure has a substantial influence on the strength and behavior of rocks. It tends to inhibit the formation of fractures and faults because it compresses rocks uniformly. As confining pressure increases, rocks are less likely to fracture under the same applied stress. Geological processes Confining pressure is a critical element in geological processes like metamorphism. In the deep earth, where temperatures and pressures are high, rocks can undergo metamorphic changes due to the combination of temperature and lithostatic pressure. Geological features Confining pressure helps explain the formation of certain geological features, such as folded rocks and foliated textures in metamorphic rocks. These features are often the result of differential stress superimposed on the lithostatic pressure. Understanding confining pressure is essential for geologists and researchers studying rock mechanics, as it provides insights into the behavior of rocks at depth and the processes that shape the Earth's crust. It's a fundamental concept in geology, contributing to our understanding of everything from mountain building and plate tectonics to the formation of minerals and sedimentary rocks. How is confining pressure formed? Confining pressure is formed by the weight of overlying rocks and sediments in the Earth's crust. It's a result of the immense gravitational force acting on the materials below the Earth's surface, causing them to experience pressure from all directions. Here's a more detailed explanation of how confining pressure is formed. Overburden load, when layers of rocks, sediments, and soil accumulate over geological time scales, they create a significant load due to their weight. This overburden load is a critical factor in the formation of confining pressure. The deeper the rock or mineral is within the Earth's crust, the greater the weight of the overlying material, resulting in higher confining pressures. Uniform pressure, unlike tectonic stresses, which act directionally, e.g., compression or shear, confining pressure is isotropic, meaning it acts uniformly in all directions, horizontally and vertically. This uniformity is due to the isotropic distribution of the gravitational force. As a result, rocks experience pressure from above, below, and all sides equally. Increased pressure with depth, confining pressure increases with depth within the earth. This phenomenon is known as the lithostatic gradient. The deeper you go, the greater the pressure. The lithostatic gradient varies depending on factors like rock density and the distribution of overlying material. Role in rock deformation Confining pressure is one of the principal components of the stress regime within the Earth's crust. When combined with tectonic stresses, it plays a critical role in determining how rocks deform and respond to the applied stress. 
Rocks exposed to high confining pressures tend to deform differently from those exposed to lower pressures. Formation of sedimentary rocks. Confining pressure is instrumental in the formation of sedimentary rocks. As layers of sediment accumulate over time, the weight of the overlying layers increases the confining pressure on the sediments below. This pressure compacts and solidifies the sediments into rock over geological time. Metamorphism, in the deep earth where temperatures and pressures are high, confining pressure, combined with elevated temperatures, drives the metamorphic transformation of rocks. Certain minerals may change their crystal structures or undergo phase transitions due to these conditions. Inhibition of fracturing, confining pressure tends to inhibit the formation of fractures and faults within rocks. Because it acts uniformly from all directions, it prevents rocks from breaking apart easily under the same applied stress. As confining pressure increases, rocks become more resistant to fracturing. Confining pressure is a fundamental concept in geology and rock mechanics. It is critical for understanding various geological processes, including mountain building, the formation of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks, and the behavior of rocks at depth. Researchers and geologists use knowledge of confining pressure to gain insights into the Earth's interior and the forces that shape its crust. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like the video and comment on the video.